Hi Venus, uh, this is Dr. Srikanth. Uh, now I'm going to discuss about this particular case-based discussion which is very common and familiar nowadays after COVID-19. So the case can be like this, okay, so a COVID positive patient with uh, uh, usage of antibiotics or corticosteroids followed by you have seen something like an orbital cellulitis which you can see in the clinical photograph or maybe an infection of the sinus or maybe the perforation of the palate or maybe the brain abscess in few of the cases okay so this is basically due to a fungal infection which is a chronic one basically whenever you have an options of a chronic infection like extended or prolonged over a period of time then you can think of fungal infection and this fungal infection is nothing but the mucormycosis which is also called as zygomycosis okay so please do make a note of the terms which are common terms which are useful for this infection and coming to pathophysiology of this infection, this infection primarily starts from the primary focus that is nothing but called as your uh, your respiratory tract. Okay, so basically it originates from the respiratory tract or the nasal cavity which is a primary focus and followed by through the blood. Okay, that is called as angio invasion. Through the blood, it's going to reach the different parts of the body. Okay, so it starts from the respiratory tract and through the blood, it's going to reach or get spread it to the different parts of the body as it involves the blood this is most dangerous this is dangerous which may lead to the death of the patient also right so what are the primary clinical features which we regularly see is the clinical photograph what i have given that is your orbital cellulitis or infection of the sinuses or infection brain abscess can be seen or perforation of the palate all this smacks of facial areas are going to be eaten away that is the reason we are mainly concerned the surgical people are mainly concerned with the excision and followed by the prosthetic people are mainly concerned with building a maxofacial process for the surgical excision place which is previously done and followed by uh, the combination uh, things that they can give is a covid 19 history or immune compromised patient or a patient which has an infection that leads to the wide usage of antibiotics or wide usage of antibiotics, wide usage of corticosteroids or wide usage of antimetabolics. Okay, so these are the common uh, background history stuff they are going to give related to this particular type of infection. Of course, we have discussed so much stuff related to this particular infection, but I want to repeat it again because this is a mandatory that there are high chances that you can encounter a particular question on this case based activity okay so stay positive study well okay please do like and subscribe the channel